this animation video, we will learn how to check Rohio property of a rubber compound with the help of moving disc rheometer. First, we will understand about the main parts of a rheometer. In these days, most of the rheometers are accompanied with computer, in which machine software application runs. To start the test, we need to log in into the software. Select the test you wish to carry out. Fill in the compound details, to ensure traceability of compound with the test report. Fill in the batch identification with other details such as, date of production internal mixer on which it produced, etc. Now test software interface will open. You need to click start test tab for starting the test. The software will automatically set the pressure and temperature of the upper and lower die. As we know, unlike plastic materials, rubbers in raw state have to undergo a vulcanization process in order to cross-link the molecular chains together and to give a rubber its final elastomeric properties. A rheometer is a laboratory device designed for measuring viscoelastic properties of rubber compounds during the vulcanization process. Once correct pressure and die temperature is achieved, software will prompt you to place the test specimen for testing. Keep a piece of plastic sheet on the top and bottom of the test sample before keeping it on the machine's test block. Place the specimen on the lower die. Please ensure to close the machine's safety door before starting the test. Please ensure that test specimen is placed in the middle of the lower die. The rheometer puts the rubber compound under positive pressure at a specific constant temperature, which depends on the type of compound and the cross-linking system used. As the cure rate of the compound in the cavity progresses, the stiffness of the specimen and therefore, also the torque on the rotor increases. Since rubber is a non-Newtonian material, it exhibits a viscous and elastic behavior. The shear modulus is directly proportional to the cross-linking density. Rheometer thus measures a degree of cure, over time, at a given temperature. Please ensure that pressure and die temperature is maintained throughout the test. A plot of measured torque value, over time, produces a typical curing curve. From the curve of torque versus curing time, all vulcanization characteristics of the rubber compound can be determined directly. The torque, force, plot against the actual cure time is called the rheometric curve. This curve is divided into three phases. Phase 1 gives an indication of the processing behavior of the rubber compound. Phase 2 describe the curing characteristics of the rubber compound. Phase 3 gives a good indication of the physical properties of the rubber compound. In the rheometric curve, the following values are obtained automatically by the same device. Stock values, like, MI, ML, MH or MHR time values, like, TS1, TS2, TS5, TC10, TC50, TC90. And derived values, like, thermoplasticity, curing speed, and reversion time. After completion of the test, a test report will be generated with a rheometric curve, which is a fingerprint of compounds curing and processing behavior. Parameters like ML, MH, TS2 and T90 will also be mentioned in the report. Mm -hmm. 